Yep, it's me again, talking about GPU mining once again. And this time we're talking about the AMD Radeon RX 6800 series and mining. And I know people don't really wanna hear about it, but it's apparently a thing. And ever since we published an article a while back about GPU miners eyeing the RX 5700 series for profitability once again, been watching the markets and quite honestly, they're not slowing down. So the miners are out there and those are in the mining scene are doubling down and they're coming for your cards. Latest on the hit list? Well, it looks like the Radeon RX 6800 series with their GDDR6 and the high hopes of what the Infinity Cache can do for GPU mining algorithms like Ethereum. See, the information was aggregated by video cards. There was a message posted on QQ, which was shared via Chippel forums. And well, we get quite a chilling message for those hoping to beat out miners and bots swiping up the next major graphics card launch inventory from AMD. Now Lean on QQ stated, AMD 6800 card just arrived. Mining performance at default is amazing. It reaches 1.5 times performance of the RTX 3090 and even more. I guess none of you will be able to buy this card. What test do you want to see? Well, 1.5x the mining performance or 50% higher than the RTX 3090. Well, this is simply insane. Right now on better hash than nice hash, profitability calculators put the RTX 3090 between 90 and $100 a month. Now that seems good, but we're talking about a $1,500 graphics card. So you're looking at about 15 plus months to recover the cost from that. Toss 1.5x on top of the rumors for the RX 6800's mining performance, and now you're looking at $135 to $150 a month from a $580 graphics card. Now that gets you a return in less than four months at the current rate. So you tell me what this means for the fight over it. Now, recent reports from ASUS have already warned of low stock on the RX 6800 XT, but stated that the RX 6800 would be a much better supply. So they still expect the RX 6800 to sell out quickly, but it now looks like it might sell out even faster than expected if these rumors hold true. Now, GPU mining has been an issue for AMD since leading up to its launch of the Hawaii card, so the RX, RX or R9, R9 back then, 290 and 290X back in 2013, followed up with the Vega launch, and here we are again in the high end with gamers versus miners over stock. Now, this may sound like a good thing for AMD to some people because, well, sales are sales, but realistically, it's not because these are not going in the hands of gamers. And that's where you got to win with where AMD has to get a major win. Over the long run, they need that mind share if they're going to really pull ahead and really eke out more of the market, especially whenever it moves down to the lower tiers where the real money is to be made. So the 6700, 6600, 6500, those type of class of cards. Well, you're gonna see the reviews for the 6800 series go live, but it looks like it's gonna be really hard to get one in the hands of gamers. And I really hope that's not quite the case, but we'll find out soon enough. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.